Hello everyone and welcome to another review. Today we have a review of a fragrance that is pretty much a very versatile fragrance. It's a fragrance that is pretty popular. It is from a reputable house. It is none other than Chanel's Platinum Egoist. Here's the bottle. It has kind of like a cheap top. It doesn't really have anything to say. It's kind of cheap right here too. It's plastic and everything. But I mean, it's pretty tasteful as far as the bottle actually goes. It just says uh, Chanel and it says uh, Platinum Egoist at the top. Now, the bottom has some bottle information, but other than that, it's kind of similar to a lot of the Chanel bottles, although not similar to the Allure line. But either way, decently designed, although it comes with a little bit of a cheap top. All right. Now, this fragrance was released in 1993. This fragrance has been around for a while. It's priced at around $60 for the 50 milliliter, and it's priced at $80 for the 100 milliliter. The parfumes of this fragrance are Jacques Paul and Francois de Machy. So with that, let's go ahead and get into the notes for this fragrance. The top notes consist of lavender, rosemary, and pedigree. The mid consists of clary sage, geranium, and galanum. And the base consists of vetiver, cedarwood, labdanum, and tree moss. Right, so when we look at this smell, what you're essentially going to get when you very first spray it is a very seductive fragrance that's classy and yet it's modern at the same time. It's very fresh, it's very clean, um, almost clean to a soapy type of a view. Uh, the pedigree uh, really brings out that quality in it, although they're, uh, the florals in this uh, scent come towards the middle and they start to really shot in the middle. Now, despite the fact that you see a lot of floral notes in it, it really doesn't smell too feminine as a fragrance. It still maintains its masculinity. And that's one of the many things that people say when they smell this fragrance is that it smells like a masculine fragrance. So don't let the floral scare you off in terms of being there. Um, it still is a pretty masculine fragrance. Now, it almost, it dries down to a light, uh, woodsy type of a, a scent. It's not a dark wood. Don't think like oud uh, or don't think any of those heavier wood uh, fragrances. The the vetiver in this, although vetiver can go both ways, the vetiver in this is very light and it, remit, it retains a soapy uh, type of a quality that really pushes on the scent. Uh, the other thing that really comes out in this fragrance is almost a musty type of a feel to it. And that really shines in the base of the fragrance as you get past the clean and the freshness, it kind of dries down to that musty type of a feeling. For sprays of this fragrance, I would guess it's anywhere between two and four sprays. It would highly depend on when you're actually spraying this. If you're spraying this in the summer, stick to the lower amount of sprays for the fragrance. If you're spraying in the winter, you can get a little bit more trigger happy on that. Uh, but I usually hit either both wrists and the chest or the head and the chest if it's just like the summer or something like that. And that's generally when I'll go for some. For occasion, any occasion works for this fragrance. This fragrance is highly versatile, one of the most versatile fragrances that I've ever come across and highly in the running for, you know, easily most versatile fragrance. Uh, this fragrance you can use for any occasion, for any season. It works just as well in the summer as it does in the spring. Uh, I'm sorry, as well in the summer as it does in the winter. It has enough of a punch to cut through that cold air and it's not too cloying enough that it will choke someone out during the summer. As long as you keep aware of the amount of sprays that you're applying. If you go too heavy, then you are liable to choke someone out, especially in the summer. So just please be aware of that. For age group, any age group can wear this off. Personally, I think this fragrance goes to more towards the masculine side. However, some people who have smelled this have said that it smells more like a kitty fragrance. They smell it. So, and I can see both sides. So for that, any age group can really pull this one off. For projection and for projection and see, oh, sorry about that. Both are very nice on this fragrance. Both are above average, both are good, and they definitely accomplish the point. And for longevity, expect anywhere between eight and 10 hours is usually what I get on my skin. It'll last the full day. It'll last past most of uh, almost anything that you do and great longevity. So here are what some people thought of the fragrance. Masculine, I don't really like this one. This is a little, smells a little too, uh kiddish in a way, like teenager, young, I don't really like this one. Um, it's not a bad scent, it's just not, it's not really meant for someone older. Um, it's not terrible, but I don't really care for it too much. It's like a C, C plus. It's, that's nothing for, not for me at all. But it's, it's a nice scent, it's just for a younger crowd. 
This one's gross. It's too musty. It's like a typical cologne with someone without personality. I give it a D minus. Uh, another one I like. I'm going to give it an A again. Again, smells good. Definitely wear it going out type of thing. Very professional. As you can see, there were comments of it was masculine, it's kiddish, nice, uh, a good fragrance. It was a fragrance that you can wear out. It's very professional. Musty was another thing that came up. And another thing that came up was no personality. Overall, those ratings were, they gave it a C plus, an A, and a D minus. So ratings that waved all across of the scale. Uh, one thing that should be mentioned is that even people who gave it not so good of a rating is to listen in on what they actually said. And uh, take Orna, for example. Uh, she said that it had no personality. It smelled like a typical cologne. It didn't smell bad. It's just not something that she liked. Uh, and that was pretty much the wide spectrum that we got. Even if they didn't like it, they didn't think that it smelled bad. It just didn't do anything for them. It was boring to them or it had no personality for that. So that's one thing to keep in mind. This is an overall very safe fragrance. Personally, I like the scent. There could be people who aren't as keen on the scent, but they're probably not going to think that it smells bad, right? Now for ratings, let's get into the ratings. For scent, I'm going to give this rating, uh, I'm sorry, the scent, a B. The scent is very pleasant to me. It's very professional. It hits it hits modern as well as it does classic at the same time. And it kind of strikes that balance. It's something that is generally pretty safe to wear. It doesn't tend to get overly soapy. Overall, a great scent. For projection, I'm going to give this a B. Projection, it's going to uh, project and catch whoever it needs to catch. It's really not going to go hog wild on the projection and really be something like an angel man or something like uh, a yolk or a yolk but it holds its own and it does what it's supposed to do. Uh, for that, definitely it gets a B. For Siage, same thing, it gets a B. It leaves a nice little scent trail uh, that people will smell as you pass by and it'll leave a nice little lingering presence. Doesn't go too crazy, but it does what it's supposed to do. For Uniqueness, I'm gonna give this one a B plus, mainly because of the fact that it came out in 1993. So a lot of scents are modeled around this, or modeled after it. Uh, I'm not comparing it to the original Egoist. I still need to get the original uh, Egoist, but Platinum Egoist by itself, I think is a pretty unique fragrance. Uh, I have smelled things that do smell similar to it, um, and that's why it doesn't necessarily get that huge rating, but still, it does excellent in those regards. For longevity, I'm gonna give this fragrance a B for longevity. Eight to 10 hours, more, more or less, give or take. I've never really gotten less than eight hours, but 10 hours you can expect to be pushing that mark on most people's skin. For versatility, I'm gonna give this one an A+. There is no getting, there is no better versatile fragrance than this fragrance. You can wear it at any time, any place, anywhere. Going out to, going out to pick up groceries, going out on a date, going out to an interview, you name it, you can wear this fragrance in. That's, the fra that's this fragrance's strongest point is that it is relatively, it is highly inoffensive and it is very versatile in the fact that it can be worn anywhere. So A plus for versatility, its strongest point. For compliments, I'm gonna give this one a C for compliments. The reason why it gets a C, even though I like the smell, and generally people, you won't find anyone who says it smells bad, is because it does tend to have sort of a generic feel to it. A feel that you can, uh, that it doesn't really stand out or anything. It's almost like uh, you're putting on the standard business suit when you're wearing a fragrance like this. So that's just one thing to keep in mind when looking at something like this. Whoops, sorry about that. Oh, got to go to something. But either way, um, yes, that's definitely one thing. And overall, for the rating that I'm going to give this fragrance, I'm going to give it a B B+. Uh, it's a very solid fragrance. If you're looking for a fragrance to wear at any time, any place, go ahead and look at this fragrance. It's very signature. It's very safe. It's very something that you can get away with almost at any time. Some reasons you may not want to purchase this, it's not really going to add anything to uh, your personality. It's not going to make you really stand out. Um, that was definitely a criticism, and I can definitely see how that comes into play. Uh, it can be a little bit too overly soapy. Uh, if you're not a fan of soapy fragrances, you might want to uh, kind of step back at this one. Again, boring, soapy, 
Uh, those are just some of the things for it. So if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free, leave a message, comment down below, do whatever you gotta do. Thank you, take care of yourselves, and have a great day.